Joining us here at ASH 2011, we have Mayor Wetzler, MD, Professor of Medicine, Chief of the Leukemia Service Department of Medicine at the Roswell Park Cancer Institute in beautiful Buffalo, New York. Thanks for being here, sir. Thank you for having me. Okay, so you've presented um, a piece of work titled Prognostic Significance of Karyotype in Octogenarian Patients with AML, an International Study. What was the purpose and objective for doing this? Well, first we wanted to know if patients above the age of 80 have a different outcome depending on their karyotype, which is the cytogenetic analysis of their leukemic cells. So what did you find? What, what were your results? Well, we knew that we don't have a lot of patients in our group, so we actually reached out to two German cooperative groups and the French cooperative groups to have significant numbers so we can come up with some results. And to, that's why we did an international study. And our results show that patients with normal karyotype are doing better than patients with adverse karyotype. But also we were able to show that patients with the NPM1 mutation are doing better than those who don't have that mutation. Well, how many, how many patients were you able to get for this? So we collected together 138 patients, but after removing those patients who did not fit all the criteria that we were insisting on, and those who survived more than 30 days, we were left with 90 patients among the four cooperative groups. So how will risk stratification and personalized medicine change the approach for patient treatment with this population? Well, I think that patients who have normal karyotype, AML, still should be considered for standard treatment. And right now, the standard treatment for AML is the use of 7 plus 3 type regimen. So I think that those patients still benefit from this treatment. And our data show that up to 13% of them live three years. Now remember, these are patients above the age of 80. It's beyond the life expectancy in the US and in Europe. So there is a chance to offer treatment and to help them. Those who have adverse karyotype have not done well. So those should go to experimental treatment or no treatment, depending on the interaction between the physician and the patient. No, you be digging deeper with this study? Yes, we will, because we would like to get some more patients and see if other prognostic markers that have been shown for the younger AML are important for this group of patients. Very well. Thanks, Dr. Wetzel. Thanks for, uh, for joining us here on Archive. Thank you for having me. Good luck to you. Thank you.